Hi, I'm Hilma Volk and I'm going to talk about lumps in the low back and across the top of the hip. And basically, just they're only found in this area here along the top of the crest of the hip bone and a little triangle that goes from uh, basically the lower part of the rib, lowest rib in this area here. Usually though along the the bottom of the low back, top of the hip. And the reason I'm doing this video is because they tend to freak people out. And also if you've got severe back pain, there possibly could be the cause. These are ba called back mice and there's other names for them too and I'll tell you those in a moment. But they're not cancer, they're not malignant. If you've got them and they don't bother you, just there they are. Uh, they're not knots because knots are within muscles. These are not within muscles. They're like a fatty lump that's in between the skin and the bone or between the skin and the muscle and they just kind of roll around underneath your thumb. Uh, I've felt hundreds of them and for a long time nobody could tell me what they were. I'd ask massage instructors when I took continuing education courses. I asked chiropractors. I asked doctors. And uh, really no one could tell me. And I see on the internet a lot of people are asking the question, what are these lumps in my low back? Well, probably one in ten people have them at least, maybe more. And for most of those people, they don't bother, but perhaps 10% of those people who have them, they can cause excruciating back pain. Now, these knots can sometimes be painful when you push on them because what they are is fat that has herniated out or pushed out through a hole in fascia, which is a membrane in between uh, the skin and the fat. And the fat's pushed out and apparently has taken a nerve with them. And they're different than the lipomas that people get on different parts of their body, which are fairly common also, which are fat deposits that for one reason or other have made lumps uh, under the skin. And those are never painful. When you push on these back mice, and I'm going to read some of the other names that um, they're called. They're called episacral lipomas, iliac crest pain syndrome, multifoodness triangle syndrome, and lumbar, excuse me, lumbar fascial fat herniation. And in some people, these back mice can I, like I said, cause excruciating back pain and they can uh, resemble um, a, a disc problem. Uh, and most doctors are looking at the vertebrae itself, the discs, you know, the, the nerves being pinched coming out of the vertebrae, but they're not looking at these silly little back mice. And there's a way to test that if the back mice are giving you a problem. Now, first of all, there are some people who have these back pain that flare up once in a while and they push on the back mice and it, it seems to be causing it. But if it only comes and goes once in a while, don't worry about it too much. Just uh, don't do things that aggravate it. It's good to keep active, but uh, generally if you bend forward and it's it hurts, uh, don't do that. Well, it's having a flare up. But if you're having chronic back pain and either no doctor can tell you what the problem is or uh, before you submit to an MRI, you might want to have the back, uh, back mouse checked out. And an easy way to check it out yourself is having a friend push on them while you're laying down. And if pushing on them hard mimics the back pain that you're having and go, whoa, that's where it's coming from, then you know, uh, pretty, you're pretty certain that's where it's coming from. Then the next step is to go to a doctor and have him put uh, anesthetic in that spot. And if the anesthetic takes the pain away, bingo, that's where your problem is. Uh, 
<laughs> but the anesthetic's only going to last an hour or two, whatever. Uh, so it's not a permanent solution. Then they would need to be surgically removed, which is not a major surgery, but a lot of doctors don't know about these things. So the best thing you can do is write down uh, what these things are um, and have your doctor research them or go to a doctor who is familiar with them. And you can do that by calling them up and say, do you know about a back mouse or episacral <laughs> lipoma or, or any of the other terms? And uh, if they laugh at you, yeah, or, or whatever, um, you know, find somebody else. But you need someone who can remove the lump, which is, like I said, not a major surgery, but also uh, close off that hole so the fat doesn't come back in again. So it, it's something that should not be massaged. Uh, you, you could push on it, you know, to find out if that's where your pain's coming from, but massaging it is not going to help. Massaging it will just make the pain worse. Uh, it won't make the lump go away. You can't push that lump back in the hole. But like I said, a lot of people are freaked out because they've got these lumps in their back and other people say, you've got to get that checked out because it might be cancer. No, it's not. Uh, but like I said, if you're having, you know, chronic back problems, not just lasting a week or so, but it's been going on for a long time and they think it might be a slip disc or something, just have it checked out.